Hi Gemini, this is Renee Michelle and you're on my channel Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. I want to thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Also, um, what else? Thank you for helping me with this sick. I've been sick, but thank y'all for being supportive and hanging in there with me. I really appreciate it. Um, so the gratitude special is till the end of August, which is tomorrow. Isn't that like real close? But anyway... <laughs> Y'all got to take advantage of that $20 special. Um, in two weeks, we're going to start the free birthday Mondays, which means if this is your birthday during that week, you have a chance to book with me for um, a free half an hour reading for your birthday. And that's starting, um, like I said, the third Monday in September. So we're going to start with Libras, and we're going to go all the way around through the year, okay? You could not schedule on monday for thursday because i'm just going to delete you if you're going to get that birthday special you have to be with me for a half an hour on that monday okay and that's who do spirituals not net if you want to do anything else all right gemini june 2016 let's see what's going on with y'all also i'm using guyan um, tarot deck. Ooh. It is, um, um, I forget the, I think her name is Joanna, Joanna Powell Colbert, and this is Healing the Earth and, and Ourselves, right? Yeah. Sorry, my, these cards are humongous, <laughs> and I only got a little bit of space. So, so what's going on beneath the surface, right? What I always say, the standing at the doorway card. What's funny about this deck is that it's showing two like new lovers or two new 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 love interests, and they're they're moving forward together, right? So for some of y'all, it's like I'm I met this person. And it's like now we have to make the decision which way we want to go forward together. Or I'm in this relationship with this person and now we're standing at the doorway with the past of the past behind us. And we have to decide where we want to move forward together, right? And that, um, yeah, basically. So that's what's going on beneath the surface, right? Coming into this month, I have a star card, which is divine intervention, right? This is God guiding you through. So it may feel like you are gliding through. It may seem like you're floating through, through through life right now. It may seem like you're up in air coming into this month. And also the Ace of Hearts or the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups tells me that there are a lot of love coming in from all different directions. This salmon has made all these little babies and she's waiting for that love to come in, right? So it's going to come in for you, and you are feeling this as you come into the beginning of September. Um, so times may have not been going so well for Gemini. You know, it hasn't been going too good. But this is the Wheel of Fortune, so it tells me that the time is changing, that it's getting better. You just got to hang in there, right? Because... Now, what I have next is a World card in reverse. And the world card with the verse is something that was supposed to come to an end. Something was supposed to come to completion. Something was supposed to be done in this first week and it won't be finished, right? And um, and it's leaving you feeling kind of stagnant because this card upright is, is a canoe, but it's usually the chariot in the regular tarot deck, right? So you're supposed to be foot pushing forward ahead, focus on your goals, maintaining yourself but what happened now is is that because this thing didn't come to the end you can't move forward right away and that leads you feeling some kind of way in the beginning of the first week 
of September. But let me tell you something. If you just hold on, I think it'll balance itself out. You just had to hold on. The second week, right? Fighting a battle that you can't win, right? So I don't feel like this is you with somebody else. I feel like there are people that are trying to move you into a certain way, right? They keep trying to tell you this is how you should do and this is where you should go. And what's going to happen is you're going to say to them, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not moving. I can't do it, right? And what's going on with this is that um, towards the middle of the week, of the second week, right, you're going to be very cautious, right, about what you want to do. Because this is like the page of coins, right? This little boy is like, I'm, I want to bite this apple, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Last time I bit the apple, I was asleep for 12 years. It's that kind of a thing, <laughs> right? So it's like, I want to proceed, but I'm going to proceed with cautiousness out of this situation. Because I feel like by the end of the week, there's going to be a new partnership, right? This is not, this is normally a love thing. This is sometimes a new, new, you know, romantic relationship. This is dating, first dating, first going out and stuff. This is footsie kind of love. This is teddy bear kind of love. This is sitting on the couch, popcorn kind of love. But that's not what this card is. This card is about you forming new partnership based on you standing your ground with this current situation that you're fighting against. By the third week, you're feeling yourself, right, Gemini? Because this is this is the king of, this is like the king of swords. You're relaxed. You're feeling yourself. You're you, right? You're saving money, also, and you're pushing people out, right? You're having little petty arguments by the end of the week. But let me tell you something about the end of this third week. This can be avoided, right? Because look, my thing to you is is that you cannot. Um, Fight everybody at once, right? So you already know that you're going to be coming into some quarrels. And usually this has to do with work, right? Usually this has to do with work of people that feel that they're in competition with you. Some of your sisters, they're telling me sisters. Some of your sisters are like, they keep fighting with you over BS, right? And no matter how, which way you tell them girls, they still come at you the same way. But you got to find a different way to say it. And if you, you see this coming so you can move around it and past it. All right? So the last week sees you moving. This is just this is usually a physical move, but this is also you shifting in your own spirituality, in your own self, in your own growth, in all your own way, in your own being of how you want to be as a person. This is coming through as listen, I need to praise God. If you need to go back to church and praise God, and that's a move that you need to make to make that move. If it's a physical move to a new house, a new place to make that move, Gemini. Because I feel like the only thing that's harboring you from moving forward is memories of the past, right? And the memories of the past is 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 is, is daunting a little bit, right? Because you're looking at it through rose gold glasses. It's like, oh, we were having a good time. It was all fun. Yeah, we were having a good time. But you didn't remember the arguments. You didn't remember the disagreements. You didn't remember the fighting. You didn't remember any of that. And then coming into the last week, as you prepare to move away from this, it's on your mind about, wait a minute, I got to look at the whole picture, right? Because you feel a reminiscent towards Towards what was going on where you were but now you have to move forward right so if you you at this new church you tried it but you know the old church is better you're gonna say man but I had some good times at that new church but dang they wouldn't let you do this they wouldn't do that they wouldn't you know money was stolen all the time the pastor didn't show up on Sundays and you're like oh man I had a good time with this group we had a good musical time but now I have to take my butt back to my old church because I know how it's supposed to be by the end of the week you in limbo right and I feel like you're in limbo because it's self-contemplation. I don't want, I don't want to, um, I don't want to focus on the past too much. But you do want to look over what you've been through recently and make sure that when you're going into the future, you're not making those same mistakes, those same decisions. All right? The outcome of the month is the Ten of Wands and the Two of of Swords. Right? In this deck, it's the Ten of Fire, and it is the Two of Air. Right? So basically, what this is is that. You have a, to make a decision to let these emotional things go, right? Because you're a little emotional overburdened by the end of the month. And it's the decision that you have to make about letting certain things go and letting certain people go in order to have peace. But right now, see how her eyes is closed? She don't want to look at it. She don't want to deal with it. She don't want to take the time out to cipher it because it's hurtful. It's painful. It's sad. But what you have to do is understand that if you get rid of these old baggages, these old things that are harboring your emotions, your feelings, and your spirit, you'll be better off. Okay, Gemini, till next time, y'all stay blessed and I say peace. You know I love you.